Hey guys, it's Ashley with 3R Sales and Service. Today we're taking a look at a Transit 250 van install. Uh, this has a 3500 PSI at five and a half gallon per minute pressure washer. It's got our Titan hose reels, a 200 gallon tank, and then an aluminum fuel tank up front. So I'll go over everything that we have in here. Um, starting with the pressure washer, this has the Honda GX uh, 630 engine with the electric start, and it's got a, um, a general T-series belt driven pump on the front of it here and um, with the aluminum base. Uh, the nice thing about the pressure washer and then having a tank installed with it is we can hook it up to that cool bypass system. So whenever you let off the trigger while the pressure washer is running, it is recirculating all the water from your tank through the pump and keeping your pump nice and cool and protected. We also, uh, from the 200 gallon tank coming into the pressure washer, have a T strainer in there. So what we do is we put a ball valve and then we put the strainer so that you can actually turn off the water to the tank and clean out your filter if for some reason you feel like, um, well, if you're doing your regular maintenance or if it seems like the pressure washer is not getting enough water, you can double check that really quick without having to empty your tank out. Um, so the other things that we have connected with the pressure washer is the soap injection. We've got two soap injectors on each one of these pressure washer reels here. I'll get to the reels in a second. Um, with the pressure washer soap injectors, you can actually adjust your soap draw up to 20%. Uh, we've got the little siphon hose. You can drop it down into your bucket of soap um, and they can place those buckets wherever they need them. Like I said, with these, with these van installs, it's very tight. So sometimes it's a little more difficult to get the soap tanks in there and then have them accessible to fill. Um, so uh, the Titan hose reels, they are aluminum reels with stainless steel manifolds. On the bottom, we've got 100 feet of the three quarter inch garden hose. This garden hose is what feeds into the uh, water tank in the back. Whenever the water goes into the tank, there's a float valve on the inside that actually shuts off the water once it fills and then it immediately starts filling again once you start drawing water out of it. The second reel is a pressure washer. And then the third one is also a pressure washer reel. We've got two 100 foot sections of hose. As you can see, we have one pressure washer here, but we have two pressure washer reels. Uh, that is because we can either use this third one as a backup. Um, other van installs that we've done before, we've had a backup hose reel so that if your hose blows on this one, just real quick bounce over to the other one by quick connecting the whip hose. Um, or uh, the customer wanted an option to have a second pressure washer. So they have portable pressure washer that they can add. They can add that pressure washer back here. We've got a long enough whip hose on the side here to connect it to the pressure washer and then they can use the hose reel instead of having to hand roll up any of the hoses if they needed a second unit. On the other side here, we've also got our tank drain. I'm not sure if you can kind of see back there, it's just hanging up on the sidewall. Whenever the tank is further back or we have it inside a vehicle, um, it's just a lot easier for us to have that drain roll out so that you can direct that water wherever you want it to go. Um, so we'll go ahead and move around to the other side here. From the front of the van, you get a better view of the fuel tank and the water tank. And you can see this big extra cargo area that we have here that's pretty much big enough to slide in a portable pressure washer or any extra buckets of chemicals or uh, other supplies that you need. Um, we have an 11 gallon aluminum fuel tank here. The reason why we ended up using this is because it's more narrow and we could, I mean, it has a larger fuel capacity than the standard six gallon tanks, but it's more narrow so we could fit it right in line um, and save all of this space here. The aluminum ones are also nice because they've got a fuel gauge on them so you can always tell how full they are. The 200 gallon tank, um, like I said before, uh, your incoming water goes into there. We've got a filter on top so that we can kind of keep any um, debris that comes from your customer's houses. Sometimes there's all kinds of stuff in their spigot that'll go right into your tank. So that filter will kind of keep that cleaned out. It'll also prevent your float valve from getting clogged too. Uh, but otherwise, uh, for a typical van install, these are always a lot more complicated than any trailers or truck builds that we do uh, because there's always so much underneath this floor. We have exhaust systems, fuel tanks, everything that we have to go around. So typically we put all of the equipment on skids and then we'll, we'll bolt those skids down into a van. But for this application with the extra storage that they needed and the third hose reel that they wanted, um, we had to bolt everything in place as it was and it, it worked out perfectly. Um, we, had to, we had to use the Titan reels. They were the only ones that were short enough to fit everything in here. And then we had to use specific pressure washer bases so that it could bolt down in place. I mean, we were 
they they literally move things like millimeter by millimeter to get everything to work in place it's it's a lot more tedious to do it but it, it turns out so nice um, after it's all said and done so if this is something that you're interested in i would highly suggest going with a 2020 sprinter or not a sprinter i'm sorry a transit 250. i uh, will use the 250 because of all the extra water that you're hauling if you need to um, you just kind of have to have that extra um, that extra payload uh, availability to, to be able to tow that kind of weight. So it, it works a lot nicer with that size. But um, if this is something that you're interested in, feel free to give us a call um, and we can give you more details about that. Thanks.